in, in terms of setting learning objectives, uh, how eager do you think we as educators should be to adapt to uh, adapt what we teach to our students to trends in programming languages, in software engineering, in programming tools, in industry? That is a question that very much, I think, matters where you are in the curriculum. Um, I think that in terms of thinking about, and maybe even in terms of thinking about what courses to offer, uh, we, we, te we have a number of courses that are um, uh, aimed at, you know, we, we've got a web app development class, and I think that that's really cool. I think that, that that's, you know, excellent, and I, I know that um, Kim Vol talked a little bit about this too, you know, talking about, well, making sure that, that students have uh, the ability to uh, to get started on their own projects. I, I guess I guess her particular advice was, you know, if you want to get into game design, like, be programming games, be programming games. Um, it doesn't matter if the university doesn't offer them. But in terms of, you know, maybe the university should offer that, I think at the, the sophomore and the junior level, that's important. On the other hand, um, I think that in terms of the intro curriculum, um, we should be figuring out what people need in order to understand the foundations of computer science. Um, and I don't think that there's just one foundations of computer science, but, I mean, you know, students are going to need to learn how to write imperative programs, and they're going to need to understand what it means to do a binary search tree, and they need to understand what it means to do a linked list. And um, I, um, I think that one of the aspects of that curriculum that I drew here on the screen a little while ago is that we have made in our curriculum a pretty conscious decision to make sure that people have a lot of fundamentals first. That we're not doing a lot of, um, I mean, we try to do interesting um, uh, programming assignments that are fun and compelling on their own while people are working through this class. We teach arrays by doing image manipulation and like also we teach bit like shifting by doing image manipulation. Um, we do uh, game search by doing uh, um, uh, or we, we do search problems by doing solving games. So we've got um, I've got above my head a, a, a lights out board. Woo! Uh, a, a, an old lights out board. We have them solve lights out. It's a simple computational game. Um, and I've got some peg solitaire boards because we have them do peg solitaire. That's one of the um, assignments that we, we have them work on. So um, um, I, I, I think that and the idea, the point of that curriculum, the point of getting a lot of fundamentals of data structures and functional programming and imperative programming is that once we've once they've made it through that basic curriculum, once they've made it through that foundations, then there's a ton of places that you can go with that. Then there's a ton of directions that you can build off on that from. And many of the things that we should be doing are trying to um, explain and elaborate the connections between the fundamentals that they've then already learned and um, uh, what's actually going on in the world and in the practice of computer science. Um, so I'm, I'm um, but in terms of where I, I, I usually sit in the curriculum, um, in, in terms of the intro curriculum, I, I think that we should focus on making sure that they understand uh, the foundational principles at work. And those are, um, at, at this point in time, uh, we have a pretty clear sense, I think, uh, overall of what those fu uh, fundamentals are. Uh, they, haven't, they haven't changed. They haven't been, the, you know, link lists aren't a fad. Um, and so that's a, uh, 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 I, I think it's very worthwhile to uh, make sure that that's a thing that is separate, that is its own thing. Now, again, you could disagree with the way that we uh, choose to go about things and say, really, we should be working on more of these 
obvious connections to jargon going on in the real world, then, um, you know, and that should be first, and then we should use that to introduce some fundamentals. And I think that that's a possibly valid argument that I happen to disagree with versus... I think that there are some fundamentals, and that's kind of where I have the luxury of living in the curriculum is this place where there are a lot of really core ideas.